All right, my friends, let's go ahead and get together. Thanks for joining us here for Nature Tales. We are going to talk about something really cool today. Did you know that January 11th is a holiday that is, I think, pretty cool? It's called National Step in a Puddle and Splash Your Friend Day. Did you even know that was a holiday? Well, we're going to celebrate it here today, okay? So we're going to read a book. It's called Turtle Splash, okay? And we'll read the book, and then maybe, maybe we'll visit some friends that are from the book. So you're going to have to help me, okay? So we're going to count down at the pond here, and you might at home um, shout out the next number, okay? So if there's a turtle and something happens, you'll have to help me figure out how many turtles are left, okay? So I'll do my best. Here we go. So it's counting down at the turtle pond. So there we go. There's a nice pond. And what do we notice? We notice that there are 10 timid turtles lounging in a line. Look, there they are. They're just hanging out. Uh-oh. Startled by a bullfrog. How many think are left? There were 10 and one of them went away. How many are left? Then there are nine. So nine napping turtles. The day is growing late. A rabbit rustles in the leaves. We had nine. What do you think is gonna happen? How many are gonna be left? Now there are eight. So eight. Lazy turtles resting without a care. A red squirrel scampers by the log. Uh-oh, so we had eight and we lost one. How many do you think are left? Hi. Hi. So How many? Seven. seven turtles. Seven, that's right. There are seven still are there. So seven sleeping turtles. Hear the crunch of a stick. A deer appears beside the shore. There it is, there's a doe and a fawn. So we had seven and we lost one. How many would we have? We would have six. Now there are six. So six sunning turtles watching ducklings dive. The mother mallard quacks at them. Uh-oh, so she quacked really loud. How many do we have? If we had six and we lost one, how many would we have? We would have five. So five idle turtles lolling by the shore. A pollywog swirls by their log. Do you know what a pollywog is? Another name for a pollywog? It's a tadpole. Look at those turtles. So we had five and we lost one. Now there are four. Four drowsy turtles, quiet as can be. A butterfly flutters by. There's a butterfly. Uh-oh, so we had four. And we lost one. Now we have one, two, three, three. Three carefree turtles breathe a, beneath a sky so blue. A chickadee chirps in a tree. There's a chickadee. Now there are, how many are left? Two. Two, look at those two turtles. Good job. Two silent turtles watching the setting sun. <laughs> a mosquito flies by. And now, how many are left? If we had two, we'll take one away. How one. Many? One, yeah. Now there's only one. One lonely turtle in the fading light. Splash! 
Now there are 10 tired turtles settled in for the night. You know, turtles can sleep underwater and that's where they go to hibernate or sleep through the winter too. So we started off with 10, then we went to nine, then we went to eight, seven, then six, five, then four, then three, two, and one. Sleep tight, turtles. So my friends, can you remember some of the critters that were in our book? So maybe some of the animals that scared the turtles and made them go under the water. Can anybody think of any of the, the animals that were in our book? A duck. A duck, yeah. Good job. Can you think of any other ones? Yeah. A polywog. A polywog. What was the other name for a polywog? Do you remember? What are you? A tadpole. Tadpole. A tadpole, right? So they saw some polywogs or tadpoles, right? We saw a duck. Does anybody else remember any of the other ones? The first one that was jumping and hopping. Do you remember that one? And it was going ribbit, ribbit, big giant one. Do you remember the bullfrog? Oh, Mary, do we go ahead? You can say it. What was it? The one that was hopping. A frog. A frog, that's right. And then we had the next one was something that hops and has two long ears. What was that one? We had a frog and then we had a bunny. One. A bunny. bunny. Yeah. And who remembers what was next? Does anybody know? They go chitter, 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 chitter. They let you know. Look at this guy right there. Who is that? What is that animal? A squirrel. Oh, a squirrel. Yeah. Oh, and what about this one? A mommy and a baby one. What are those? Oops, sorry. There you can't see your head. Here. What were those? A tadpole. No. Oh. Yeah. There you go. A deer. That's right. And then we had the duck that my friends already said. And then we had our polywogs or tadpoles that my friend said. Look at this one. What is this? Oops. There we go. Who is that? Butterfly. One? Butterfly. A butterfly. Right. So the butterfly scared them. And look at this. What is that one? Do you remember? What do we think? What is that? Um, a chaggy. A, a chickadee. Yeah, really good. A chickadee. And maybe the last, and that was all of our critters, I think. So my friends, do you want to meet some of the, the critters that were in our book? I've got some friends here. So I work at a nature center and I have some of the friends. So remember the very first animal that scared everybody into the water or one of them into the water? Here's my bullfrog friend. Look at her. Oh, there she is in all of her coolness, right? So she's a really big frog and she has really big polywogs too. She doesn't quite know what to think about watching herself in the computer, right? Yeah, so this is a big frog, isn't it? Yeah, and she likes to eat things. What do you think she likes to eat? If you had to guess, what do you think she would eat? Flies. She likes flies. She does. What other things do you think she might like to eat? Cockroaches, she, that's right. She likes to eat bugs, 
She likes to eat worms. She likes to eat fish. She likes to eat baby turtles. She pretty much eats anything that fits in her mouth. <laughs> and sometimes they're considered invasive or they take over an area. But she um, is pretty cool. And her polywogs or tadpoles um, live for like two years as a polywog or a tadpole before they go through metamorphosis and change into a frog, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Do you want to meet another friend that's a book from our story? All right. This friend is the main friend that was in our story, the main character. There were 10 of them. Here is our main friend. This is our turtle friend. What, what colors do you see from our turtle friend? What colors do you see? Yeah, so she, we might see some orange. Do you see some orange colors there? Yeah, and we might see, we might see some yellow. Do you see some yellow stripes on her? Yeah, and oh my goodness, look at these. She's got big webbed feet for swimming, doesn't she? So this is called a painted turtle. Yes, you saw some orange. She's called a painted turtle because she's got a bright kind of belly on there, okay? This is a girl. She's a little bit bigger than the boys are, but she likes to swim in the water, doesn't she? Do you see her swimming? Swim, swim. <laughs> what kind of things do you think this turtle might want to eat? What are some things that this turtle might want to eat? Cars. Cars? <laughs> cars? Okay. That's an idea. I hadn't thought about cars. Hmm. They might be a little too big for her to eat. Can you think of something maybe smaller that might fit into her mouth? Worms? Yay. Worms? Yay. Okay. Yeah, worms. They like to eat worms maybe from your fishing line, right? Bugs, yeah, they'll eat that. They like to eat fish. Okay, fish. They're supposed to eat their vegetables like aquatic plants, but this one doesn't really like her vegetables very much. But they like to sit on that log like in our story and they like to soak up the sun. They're cold blooded. And that means their body temperature is the temperature of the air around them. So sometimes they have to go and soak up some warm sun um, so that way they can go about their day and process all their food and things like that. So that's really cool. So that's why they're on the log. Yep. And they like to swim under the water. And sometimes they sleep underwater at night or maybe when they hibernate. So that's a pretty cool thing. She's got a really hard shell. And that helps protect her. The shell will grow with her as she grows up. So when she hatches out of an egg, she's probably only about that big. And then she'll grow up to be about this big, right? And that shell grows with her. So she can't take the shell off and walk around without her shell. This shell grows with her. Yeah, very cool. What questions do you have about my friends that we saw today? Either my turtle or my frog, bullfrog, or any other questions about the book that we talked about today to help us celebrate a national step in a puddle and splash your friend day? How big will she get? Good question. So she's about as big as she's going to get. So I don't know, she's about six or seven inches long this way. They can get a little bit bigger, um, but right now she is full grown. So really good question. What other questions? So uh, how long did you say bullfrog is a polywog? It takes them two years. So the bullfrog tadpoles are really big. They're like this big around when most tadpoles are, are smaller than my thumb. Um, and so what happens is they overwinter 
as a tadpole. And then their second year as a tadpole, that's when they start sprouting their legs and go through metamorphosis and turn into little froglets um, their second year of life. Sometimes it can take three years, but uh, most of the time it's two years. So yeah, bullfrog tadpole are the really big ones um, we'll see in, in some different ponds and, and streams and things like that. And it takes them two years to become a frog. Good question. Any other questions, my friends? Oh, good question. So are there programs out there we could get a polywog and have the kids watch it grow and then release them into the wild? You know, not that I'm aware of. Um, I know um, like sometimes folks can go out and if they find one, um, just as long as you know where you captured, at, captured it at, you can go and release it back to where you found it. Um, I know that there are some programs with butterflies, but I don't know of many with frogs and toads and things like that. Um, the main part would be just to make sure that we're not transferring maybe some undesirable species into a new area, um, kind of like our bullfrog friends. Some people don't quite like them as much as some of our, our native frogs and toad species. So that would be my one, one guess why there's maybe not some of that. But if you find some, it's really fun to watch them grow. I know growing up, we found a bunch of toad tadpoles and we did that. We watched them grow and released them where we caught them. Really good question. All right, my friends. Well, we'll say goodbye to our little turtle friend. Say bye bye, turtle. We'll see you later. Thanks for visiting us today. All right, my friends. I am glad that you joined us here today for Nature Tales. Um, make sure to join us next week. We've got another really exciting story and program that we're gonna do. And um, make sure if you find a puddle today that you go and splash your friend since it's national, step in a puddle and splash your friend day. We've got some snow that's melting out here, so I might be able to find a puddle, but hopefully you're able to find one where you live, okay? So again, thanks for joining us. Um, let me know if you have any questions, okay? And uh, hopefully you have a fun day today. So thanks again.